What is this rusty object with two cone-shaped ends? The flared ends have equally space holes. One end is round, while the other is more oval-shaped. It's about 18 inches long, but the length appears to be adjustable with a set screw. It's made of iron and weight is unknown. It was found in Delaware. The area is mostly farmland and woods. Some trees were being cleared, and this was found in the wooded area. What is it? It is a cast iron adjustable child's school chair base, designed to be screwed into the floor. The wood and metal top seat portion was removed. This type of desk and chair were originally used in a school outside of Lexington, Kentucky, in the mid-19th century. The desk and chair were passed down through the school teacher's family for generations. What is this small metal bushing set into the floor in front of my hotel window on the 8th floor? It's about 1.5 inches in diameter, and the center white plastic part pushes down easily, with a spring behind it to pop it back up. The writing on the left is partially covered, but I can make out CH ways. The letter and number combination on the left reads, W005445, and I'm located in England. What is it for? It's a push lock socket for an anchor for rope access, possibly for window cleaning. It is discreetly capped when not in use. When required, the user inserts an eye bolt into the socket to create a secure anchor. What are these iron plates with three prongs placed above the doors and windows of old houses? I was on a walk with my partner and walked past a couple of houses that had a row of these iron plates above the doors and windows. We live in England, and the houses look like very old builds. The objects are the size of a normal plate with three prongs. They look very old, and there are a few layers of paint over them. No inscription or writing is visible. What is it for? They are wall anchor plates, designed to stop walls from bowing. The large plate is fixed to the wall, while the smaller one is there. So it can be tightened over time, if the bowing persists. You will see a lot of these on older buildings in the US where earthquakes happen. What is this thing I found in a storage unit of a roommate who moved without notice? It's 8 to 9 feet long with a stretchy rubber tube on one end, and the other end has three slightly curved metal rods with a plastic cap. I was thinking maybe one of those harpoon things, but the end is capped and doesn't attach for different attachments. What is it? It's a fishing pole spear. The plastic cap on the end is a removable protector for the sharp metal tines. You pull the spear back against the jelly rubber, point at the fish, and then release your grip to shoot. I bought a new home, and this is under the back deck. It has two clamps and is on a hinge, about 6.5 feet off the ground and about 2.5 feet long. Made from aluminum. What is it for? It's a swing-out horse blanket hanger hung upside down. The raised end keeps horse wear from sliding off. It swings in and out for easy accessibility. What is this mechanical hand tool with a moving piston? The piston throw is an inch or less, and it looks like the head from a rivet tool. The front rotates to accommodate two different sizes of whatever it was made to crimp squeeze compress etc. No manufacturer labels or markings. Found in the $1 box and I'm a sucker for anything that looks interesting. The only markings on it are bad good bad, and CC trim written below it. Any ideas? It's a coax compression tool, it creates a secure and reliable connection between the coaxial cable and the connector. I have one in my truck right now. What is this large metal ring about 2.5 centimeters in diameter with 10 glass gems on either side from a vintage jewelry bundle? I thought it might be a scarf ring, but doesn't have a center bar. It has no moving parts, no maker's mark. It was in a bundle of vintage jewelry, approximately from the 50s and 60s. It's a vintage Swarovski crystal rhinestones and silver metal abstract buckle. A simple silver ring bears a cluster of 10 round clear crystals in silver settings on each side, arranged in two rows. It adds a brilliant detail to waistlines on dresses, tops, coats and more. What is this flexible plastic tool with two layers? It looks a bit like a shoehorn. Any ideas? 
It's a lazy shoe helper. To help put on your shoes, they go into the back of Thai shoes so you can slide shoes on without breaking down the back. They stay in your shoes until you are ready to wear them. What are those yellow red poles with hats alongside Croatian roads and near an airport? I asked some locals who couldn't help. The poles are about 2 meters high. Any thoughts? I did some research, and it turns out they are underground gas pipeline markings. These poles with hats on them are placed along the pipeline's route. But a similar kind of pole is used as snow poles in other parts of Croatia. What is this little tool I found? It has a plastic sleeve, a metal tool with squeezy action and two plastic spears that can fit in the gap of the tool's tip when closed. The plastic sleeve says canvas, but that term does not help my googling. I can only guess the tool is a puller of those spear-shaped bits, but I can't think of what the true function would be or what it goes to. What is it? They are replacement nibs and remover tools for a stylus. These pieces are actually quite essential as the little sticks are S pen replacement tips, and the metal claw is a tool for removing them. The two different colors indicate different hardness levels, which helps if you use a plastic screen protector. What is this set of three flat machine presses? Family member ended up with these in a random bin. Turning the knurled piece draws the top and bottom flat plates toward or away from each other. The smallest is about 1 inch wide, the largest is about 2.5 inches wide. Looks like small brass washers to prevent the plates from getting too close to each other. No identifying marks. Any thoughts? They are watch movement holders. It is exactly what it sounds like, a holder that is meant to hold the movement stable whilst working on it. What is this 25 to 30 feet tall cylinder, made of metal with regularly spaced roofs around? It has a cone-shaped top and seems to be formed of three main components. It has four wires extending downward towards the ground, I think they're more for support. Located next to a busy crossroad in a UK city. But as you can see it is in a wooded area, and basically looks like a very simple childlike drawing of a rocket. What is it? It's an old ventilation shaft from presumably redundant sewer pipes underground. Basically help vent any built-up gases. The height would enable any smells to waft away toward the schemes. No idea of the age, but I reckon it's Victorian. Somewhere between 1837 and 1900. It does look sturdy with big pieces of steel or iron bolted together. What is this thing? A center post is a screw that moves up and down and pushes a flat plate down. The center plate is removable and not physically connected to a screw. No markings. Cast metal. From what I can figure there is a metal handle that is maybe used to press something which creates a liquid and can pour out the front opening. Aprox 6 inches wide from the tip of the handle and Aprox 4 to 5 inches tall. What is it? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.